Dave Gardy here for Golf Center TV with a lesson on the short pitch. And Ms. Bridget Bell and Kirk Lucas, teaching pro. All right, Bridget, you've talked. The short shot's a difficult one for you. Okay, show us how you would normally do it. Okay, hold that right there. Notice how Bridget's body really hasn't moved. It was all done with her hands and arms. The club didn't really follow through it. It ended up right back here. And it's very difficult for her to get consistent turf ball contact and very difficult to judge the distance. Well, here's what we're going to do. The shorter that you want to hit the shot, the closer we're going to have you stand. Okay. And no matter how short a shot we hit it, we're still going to have some body motion and we're still going to let your arms and the club swing through. So the simplest way we're going to do it is we're going to prevent you from doing what you used to do by taking this rod, putting it in your grip, running it up the left side of your body. Now just make a couple practice swings and don't damage your ribs. The only thing you have to do is not damage your ribs. Okay. So notice she's a little closer to it. She wants the ball to go a very short distance. The shorter it goes, the more that I stand near the ball. As she moves through, notice now how in her follow through, go ahead and hold your finish for me. Her weight shifted forward, her hips have moved, and notice how straight her arms are, her wrists haven't broken down, the golf club is, is in a beautiful position here with the butt of the club pointing outside of her left hip. Now she can hit any shot she wants from that position right there. So this is going to be very easy for her to now control the distance. So what we're going to have you do is go ahead and set up, use your rod there, and hit a short one for me. Beautifully struck. And notice how the, the turf ball contact was great. So if you happen yeah. to have a thin lie on the course or a muddy lie or a fluffy lie, it's not going to really affect much at all. Mm -hmm. So you, the lie will become less significant. The distance that you have to hit the shot will become very easy to execute. And you'll just have tremendous confidence in the strike of the golf ball. Now, do the same thing for me. Just change the distance that you'd like to hit it. Beautifully struck. So now that's just a little bit longer pitch, mm -hmm. but very well struck, very well controlled. And you just continue to vary how far you're going to hit it. Excellent. And that's the tough one, that little short one where you just want to bump it over the rough, land it on the edge of the green, and let it trickle to the hole you did beautifully. Right. That's a great tip. And that little rod that you can get at Home Depot for a dollar will, will, will help you so much with your short game. I'm definitely going to have one in my bag. <laughs> All right.